Mikhail, congratulations on this series. Thank you. It's receiving rave reviews. A lot of people have likened this to a creepier version of This Is Us. What do you say to that? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really slow build. Um, and it's very much, it, it, it's very much two ideas, I think, or two things. It's, on the one hand, it's, it's, it's a horror show, but at the same time, it's very much, a, it wants to be a family drama. And that always intrigued me, because I think through the drama of the family, we get so invested with the characters that the horror will hit us even harder. Yeah. How did you find filming those horror scenes? Like, how do you go home and sleep at night? I struggle <laughs> watching the, the series. Yeah. But that's also, I mean, you know, that's also the magic and the fun of making uh, movies or series like this. You know, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's so much make-believe, of course. So when you watch this back, because I was talking to Oscar before and he said when he watched this back, you know, filming, he was okay. Watching it back, he was jumping, he was screaming. Yes. Do you really? do the same? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Episode seven, he said he gave out a double scream. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, no, I, I, uh, I, I was particularly scared when I was reading the episodes because that you know, that's the first time you read the story and also you're reading it, right? So your imagination goes wild. Mm -hmm. um, and then by the time I've, we finally were able to watch it, um, it was really hard for me to, to tell whether things were still um, scary or not. So I was watching it. I ended up watching the first six episodes with my family and they were scared out of their minds. <laughs> you were thrilled. I was just like... <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember this. This is gonna be a good part. And they're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> You've been a part of many big TV shows: Game of Thrones, um, Nashville, Orphan Black. When people bump into you on the street, what do they want to talk to you the most about? Well, probably um, Game of Thrones. Uh, but but at the same time, it's uh, it's always really hard to judge or to guess because you know. Somebody comes up to me, and, and I, I always have a, have a second of thinking, oh, you're probably going to talk about that or that. And I'm always wrong. What would you think I would be out of those three? I would, yeah, I'm always wrong. So. Nashville. Nashville. Okay. <laughs> Do you still watch Game of Thrones? And having been so closely linked to it, have you used right. your inside powers to go, go on, tell me what happens in no. the final series? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I'm very happy to, to, to just experience it as it comes out, and I, 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 I wouldn't dare. P plus, you know, I've worked with those producers for a couple of years, and I know how close they like to keep their, <laughs> their cards to their vest. Yeah. You've been in this industry since you were a child. I know yeah. you know no different, but what's it like growing up in an industry like this? Well, you know, I started, I started my career or in the Netherlands. And so, yeah, I started as a kid. Um, but the industry was so small there that it was never considered a career choice. You know, nobody ever thought that I would be doing this for the rest of my life, including me. Really? You know, no, it was just something I did uh, alongside school, just like I played soccer and, you know, and played guitar. And, and then once a month, I would record something for some show. So it wasn't until I was um, probably 18, 19 and, and about to go to college that I realized, but what is it I want to do? And maybe, maybe I've already been doing what I did. So I, it, was a very, it was very easy, no pressure. If it's fun, do it. If not, whatever. And I love it because I reckon you've taken that throughout your whole career as well because you're constantly surprising us with the roles and TV shows you're appearing in. Cannot wait to see what you do next. Do you think there's going to be a season two of The Haunting of Hill House? I hope so. Okay. But, but, but I'm very curious to see what that would look like, you know, because it's a very contained story. Yeah. So it could be something else or it could be... Uh, the Haunting of Hill House season two. I, I don't know. Either That's way, you're going to be freaking us out, Michaela. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Real pleasure.